Hey guys, today I'll be bringing you a little something, something a little different. Um, I've got a Shadows Over Innistrad fat pack that I'll be opening, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll be going through. If you're just here for the rares, uh, I'll make sure to review them at the end. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go go through it pretty slowly just because, uh, I don't know, I like to talk about them. Um, yeah, let's open this up. So normally, I don't order fat packs uh, just because they're a pretty terrible deal if you buy them at retail or anything close to it. But uh, I had a special cash back deal from eBay and um, basically I got the fat pack for about $17, which was pretty insane because I bought it with a booster box and uh, yeah, hopefully I have the video for that also. Um, so first off, these fat packs you get uh, this nice little sleeve thing. It opens up into a poster. Fairly worthless. Um, these actually, the player's guide, uh, are pretty cool. Um, they've got kind of descriptions of cards, uh, checklists, things like that. Believe it or not, they sell for about four or five dollars on eBay. Um, of course, after shipping and fees, you're kind of lucky to net maybe a dollar or two, but uh, they're not bad. I actually like them. Um, Let's see what else we got here. This is garbage. So then you also have the deck box, which um, holds 500 cards. Uh, it's actually pretty useful. Uh, they also sell on eBay for about five dollars, but they're even harder to ship, and so they're really not worth it. Um, still, nice worth you know a dollar or two to keep your own cards. We have uh, let's see five booster packs in here and a little throwdown die, which. Uh, surprisingly, also sells for about a dollar or two, and it's considerably easier to ship given its size. Um, then we have four more packs and a 70 card land pack with uh, 10 cards, the checklist flip cards, uh, which are. They have some value, but really only the rare ones. Um, the kind of common, uncommon flip cards are pretty pretty worthless. Uh, I would actually prefer 10 more lands, but that's just me. Um, so there we've got the little die, a red one, which is nice. Pretty much anything but green and you're good to go. Um, okay, you also get two of these little deck boxes. They're nice, but they don't hold cards when they have sleeves on them. Um, otherwise they will hold a 60 card deck with a sideboard. Uh, also about a dollar total if you were to go and try to cannibalize this and sell them all. Land pack's cool. I'll definitely use those later. Uh, alrighty. Let us get to the packs. Um, so I, I I sell a lot of magic cards. I buy them and sell them. I make uh, decks and things like that for people to buy. So I'll probably be talking about the value um, most of all when we go through this. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get something good. Should have nine packs here. Let's get to it. First one. As I mentioned, um, I do sell decks and things, so there will actually be a link in the description of this video uh, with probably my eBay page if you guys want to go check it out. All of these cards will be put into decks or maybe sold singly depending on what I get. Um, and I'm probably only going to talk about the uncommons and the rares. Just kind of quickly go through the commons. So the first uncommon, Stencia Masquerade, Skeleton Key, Humble the Brute, and our rare is first one, Mythic. Fortunately, it's a pretty terrible Mythic. It's uh, Wolf of Devil's Breach. It's a five drop red. It's pretty good. Um, I think there'll be some play for it, depending on certain kinds of decks, but in terms of value, it's uh, Kind of weak. At least we got a mythic though. Flip card is a common hinterlands logger. Nothing special there. All right, second pack. Old Jace on the front. I really like this set, um, both because you get a lot of extra rares with the flip cards, um, and uh, they seem to be pretty common as far as kind of rares go. Okay, first uncommon, Nahiri's Machinations, Runaway Carriage, uh, Near Heath Chaplain, and our rare is an Abyssin's Judgment. 
Um, it's pretty cool, man, this card. Not worth a whole heck of a lot. And a kindly stranger. And an island. Not doing too great on the value so far. Uh, but we did get a mythic out of the way. Hopefully, hopefully there's a second in here. That would that would be good. Um, kind of sucks to get snuffed on mythics in a fat pack just because you know your your value is so dependent on them in this set. Uh, but we'll see. First uncommon Reaper of the flight Reaper of Flight Moon Silver, Olivia's Bloodsworn. Gibbering Fiend in our rare. A prized Amalgam. Uh, not really hitting anything worth much here. And an apparent researcher flip card. Um, you know, it could be a lot better so far. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and switch my arms. Oh, yeah, this is a lot easier. Eight, which means we have a rare or a foil flip card, if I'm not mistaken. So we have Gite Blast, Rise from the Tides, a Woodland Stream, and a To the Slaughter. It's not a terrible black card. Solitary Hunter, and a foil, Press for Answers. Alright, I wouldn't mind a nice uh, money card, maybe another Mythic. Uh, Planeswalker would be great. A... Uh, a nice flip rare would also be nice. Maybe a Westvale Abbey. Something to get the value in these packs. All right, no rare or foil. Uh, let's see, Briar Bridge Patrol, Incorrigible Youths, Fleeting Memories, and an Oldenwald Hydra, a second mythic, which is good for a fat pack. And this one's actually worth a few bucks, not, not too much. I would have liked uh, Avacyn or something. And a neglected heirloom. I can't complain about two mythics. We just didn't hit the right ones, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, it's a fat pack, so theoretically every pack could have a mythic. So we might have four more Avacyns sitting here. I should say four Avacyns since I haven't gotten one yet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So no foil or flip rare. Uh, Creeping Dread, Moonlight Hunter, Silver Strike, and our rare is a Slayer's Plate. I don't particularly like equipment. Um, this isn't a bad one for a 3-drop, but it uh, isn't worth anything. Neglected Heirloom is our flip. I'm noticing uh, there's a lot of glare. I'm just going to go and turn that monitor off. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Yeah, that should... Again, two mythics, not bad, but uh, neither of them planeswalkers are particularly expensive. Okay, uh, silver, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which means no rare or foil. Uh, epitaph golem, another skeleton key, call the bloodline, and a second prized amalgam. That's. Not really what we want to see. I like I like the zombie cards, but boy, not prized amalgam. Um, it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I can see why this fat pack was only seventeen dollars. Uh, it's not not great stuff so far. Two packs left though. Hopefully, one of them hits it big. One, two, three, four. It's also surprising we haven't had a foil flip, and not in this pack either. So we have a Dance with Devils, Ongoing Investigation, a Inner Struggle, and an Ever After. Uh, basically a, a graveyard zombie card. Uh, also not worth really anything. And an Apparent Researcher. Alright, well, this one's kind of been a bit of a stinker. Uh, hopefully this last pack can redeem us. If not... This was kind of a bust of a fat pack. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. No flip rare or foil. That's strange. We have a weirding wood, a murderer's axe, a forsaken sanctuary, and a second slayer's plate. Two slayer's plate and two apparent uh, two prized amalgams rather, which is really, really just awful. Uh, okay, I am going to get a poor job of taking out the rares. But I will do that now. Uh, so not great fat pack. We did get two mythics. We just happened to get two fairly crummy mythics. Um, that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Sometimes you hit them, sometimes you don't. I also have a uh, booster box I'll be opening, so maybe we'll get a little more lucky on that one. Sorry about that. I should have taken the rares out. Don't like seeing all those prized amalgams or slayer's plates. Honestly. Uh, nice Avicen, Relentless Dead, uh, Planeswalker. Any of those would have been better. So, we have our two mythics. Our a... Whoops. Wolf of Devil's Breach, an Oldenwald Hydra, Slayer's Plate, Ever After, Prized Amalgam, Slayer's Plate, To the Slaughter, Prized Amalgam, and an Avacyn's Judgment. Um, yeah, that's about it. We also have a Foil Common in there somewhere. Uh, you know, could have been better. Uh, like I said, all these cards will end up making it into a deck or sold as singles and I will put the link in my description here. Thanks for watching.